Hey everyone, welcome back. It's another video. Fantastic news for those of you that have been following along with the Tommy Robinson news. Tommy Robinson is coming back to the UK. He's coming back home. And I think it's fantastic because Tommy Robinson has a message for the UK government. It seems like he's coming after the UK government with what seems like a little bit of a vengeance. And I'm all for it because a lot of people love Tommy Robinson as was clearly evident in the videos that I made about him and Douglas Murray as well, uh, really in how much Piers Morgan actually hates Tommy Robinson and what he stands for, because I unearthed the video that one of my followers told me about, which is quite startling. It actually reveals quite a lot and why Piers Morgan doesn't want to have Tommy Robinson on his show. And to be honest with you, like I still don't understand why not have Tommy Robinson on your show let the man speak, but yeah, you still have Andrew Tate. It just doesn't make any sense to me. They're both starkly different people. Andrew Tate is nowhere near Tommy Robinson, in my opinion, in, in my eyes. But nevertheless, I know people love Tommy Robinson more than they love Andrew Tate, but I also know that there's a lot of people that love Andrew Tate still just because Andrew Tate says, you know, this is the Matrix doing what's happening to him, even though he's actually admitted to doing the things that he's being looked into for doing, which is also interesting. But nevertheless, we'll let justice do what justice has got to do in that front. But Tommy Robinson has a message for the UK government, and here it is. He posted it on Twitter today. My message to the UK government, stop importing child R-wording nonsense. Send the ones who have or tried to back to the shithole from whence they came, making sure they serve time in prison in whatever shithole it is. You don't import, you know what, predators to score virtue points. The virtuous thing to do is to protect British women and children at risk. Put your own people first every single time. Man, every time this guy opens his mouth, I love it. Because Tommy Robinson, for well, whatever you think, like if you think negatively of him, one thing's for sure, if you're coming back home to face jail time, you're a hero to many, you're courageous and you're fearless. What person knowing full well that if you step foot back in your own country, you're going to be charged and arrested, thrown in prison for no reason whatsoever, does it anyway? Why is Tommy coming back home? He says this, I'm coming home. It's fight or flight. We will fight. I'm coming home to unite the kingdom once again. Ah, oh, poetry, man. It's poetry. Love this guy even more. This time on Keir Starmer's doorstep, 10 Downing Street, 26th of October, a peaceful show of res resistance to his tyranny. Oh, boy. Keir Starmer's not going to like that one bit, and he's going to do his absolute best to stop it from happening. But can you really stop all of the UK citizens that support Tommy Robinson? Who knows? We will also premiere our latest documentary, Make Your Plans. Britons, I'll upload a video explaining all. We need each and every one of you. The British public will not be bullied into silence. Let's go. Man, the guy is an absolute patriot. I love him even more. It's fantastic to see somebody that doesn't want to give up fighting for what he knows to be true. What a lot of people in the UK, if you are a UK citizen, and I've been reading a lot of the comments, you guys know you've seen it all unfold in your own country. I'm seeing the same thing starting to take place in my country of Australia. We had in Sydney and in Melbourne protesters. In Sydney, you had all these illegal immigrants chanting and shouting at the top of their lungs, beating drums, saying that they need to give, be given permanent residency. I mean, you can't make any of this stuff up because the government has allowed these people to come in, illegally, I might add, and they don't think the consequences are going to be rather severe. Think again. It's problematic. The moment you let a fox into the hen house, I've said this many times, but the analogy is very, very clear and very, very true, the moment you let the fox into the hen house, what do you think that fox is going to do? You think he's going to be friends with the hens? No, he's going to eat them all up, man. He's going to fill his belly. That's what a tyrant does. 
And a tyrant also comes in the form of a compassionate person. Hey, look, you've got an issue. I'm going to fix it for you. I'm going to lie through the skin of my teeth and I'm going to gaslight you into, obliv into oblivion to make you think and make you believe that I am right. But really what you're going to do is you're going to rule with an iron fist. And people like Tommy Robinson come along and disrupt your gaslighting, disrupt your tyranny, and you don't like it. So you try and remove those people from the public. But what you're really doing is making a martyr out of that person. And Tommy Robinson said it best when he was on Jordan Peterson's. You're going to make more, Jordan Peterson's podcast, you say, you're going to make more Tommy Robinsons out of putting Tommy Robinson in prison. People know they're waking up more so now than ever before. It's clear as day. Tommy Robinson has never said that he hates Muslims. People are trying to make that the case. The mainstream media is the enemy of the actual UK citizens. Keir Starmer thinks that he's the best thing since sliced bread. He's doing so much good for the country of the UK, but yet the UK citizens are crying out saying, no, stop, stop. What are you doing? You're making enemies of your own citizens. Now, here's another thing for you all. Tommy Robinson put this up on Twitter as well. Yet again, a hate march roams through our capital. The only arrests were this guy that held up a sign saying Hamas is terrorist. And then you had the police pounce on him. But you see all the other people that are chanting and praising and, and asking for Palestine to be free. They're roaming the streets. Okay. You're fine to do that, but someone saying Hamas is a terrorist, you get arrested? Isn't that really telling? Like you can't actually say the truth in your own country without the fear of being arrested and charged for it. Same thing in Australia. Melbourne, a man held up a Jewish, uh, a Jewish flag and was arrested. And the police are going, oh, we're arresting you for... Uh, your own safety. Why the hell arrest him? If it's for his own safety, you don't need to arrest him. The man is clearly there knowing full well what would happen to him, but you're arresting him for doing what? A courageous thing? That doesn't make any sense. Same thing for this person. He's holding a union flag and sign reading Hamas are terrorists and the police are pouncing on him and arresting him. Why? That is a clear statement to the entire world. What's going on? Douglas Murray says this. Why are you so, so determined to destroy us? Miss Reform put up on, on Twitter. Douglas Murray says this. I cannot understand how a society can be so insane that it can welcome in people that want to destroy it. And Dr. Gad Sad says parasitic minds plus suicidal empathy is the answer. Keir Starmer may have a parasitic mind and a suicidal empathy version of whatever the hell he's trying to do, but it's not a utopia for the UK citizens. In fact, Keir Starmer is destroying Britain for the UK citizens. Douglas Murray can see it. Tommy Robinson can see it. But anyone that speaks up and speaks out against this stuff is labeled a far-right terrorist to their own country. Tommy Robinson also says this over on Twitter. Here we have Keir Starmer saying he's worried about the far-right. You're not worried about the illegal immigrants coming in that are uh, R-wording your citizens, the, the women. Oh, you don't even really know what a woman is, by the way. But anyway, before going on to say it can be fixed by raising living standards, and dealing with mass immigration. Your solution to dealing with mass immigration is to let more immigrants into the country illegally. That's That just seems more problematic. But, hey, I'm not prime minister. I'm not president. I can't do anything about this. Like, how in the world do these people get voted in positions of, of this incredible amounts of power? They're, they're just so, they're so delusional and blind and maybe there's a gender behind it seems that way at least but inadvertently admitting there's no far right and their genuine concerns release the jailed 
the ones that have been jailed by Keir Starmer's regime for saying things that you shouldn't be jailed for, for saying the actual truth. It doesn't make any sense. Keir Starmer said that on BBC Politics. And by the way, here's Morgan uh, likes what Keir Starmer's doing, by the way. So that says a lot. So anyway, I love the fact that Tommy Robinson is coming back to the UK. We'll see what happens to him. I hope that the justice system in the UK uh, wakes the hell up and realizes that he's not doing anything wrong. He's not breaching any of the laws because we need more Tommy Robinsons. We need more people that will stand up for the truth and get the truth out there no matter the cost. So anyhow, my friends, you guys take care. You be blessed and I'll see you all in the next video.